you know, oftentimes, as well with anything, you get forgetful. And, well, you have to go back and check the calendar. Make sure you're on the right date, you know. So I had to recently do that prayer of Jesus, so to speak. And I checked, and what do you know? The calendar date is May the 10th, 2021. And I wasn't wrong in my assumption that we're in May, and it's 2021. And 2020 was last year. You know, there's an awful lot of, well, people who call themselves Americans that think that something occurred that didn't occur. And well, they saw this for a long period of time. And so, well, there must be a problem with the system because, well, if a lot of people think a certain way, then, well, that would mean that there's a problem, right? Well, let's backtrack for a minute. There have been times where there's been increasing mania amongst humans on the planet in general. I mean, for a long period of time, you had people think that tulips were, well, so precious in nature that it started a whole mania. And everybody wanted to get their hands on tulips, you know, the flower. You know, humans are an interesting creature, to say the least. And well, what do you know? There's a lot of Americans that, well, think the election was stolen. You know, the clown that we kicked out, the clown that thought, well, that he was Adolf Hitler and, well, wanted to do the whole Third Reich thing again. Well, you know, a lot of Americans, well, they supported that because, well, they want to sort of kind of do the Third Reich thing too, but they don't want to admit it. They just want to keep that to themselves and just do it. Anyway, well, what do you know? He lost back in November, and, well, it's May, and there's a county in the United States of America which is doing a recount, making sure that there was no election fraud. There was no tampering. Maricopa County in Arizona, the wonderful sunshine state, the sun devil state, I think the thing is like the horn devil. Yeah, you know, you know, the sun devil. Well, anyway, Arizona is known for one thing in the United States of America, which is not too united anymore. It's pretty divided. It always has been, but we're entering a civil war pretty soon. I want to say, oh, I checked my clock, maybe about nine more months and we'll be in an all-out civil war. Right now, we're in a word war, but pretty soon it'll be a civil war. Anyway, I digress because, you know, people are people. History doesn't repeat itself, but it certainly rhymes, so you just have to know how people are. Anyway, Maricopa County, Arizona, the place where a lot of people go to retire, sit in the sun, after they've stolen a lot of money. Anyway, well, Maricopa County, it's a conservative county. It's red country. It's definitely conservative and Republican because, well, all the retirees that go there are white. Anyway, well, they're doing a recount and they hired a, well, a, um, an investigative organization. I don't know what you call these clowns. But anyway, they go by the name of Cyber Ninjas. And well, they've been having volunteers come. And well, you need a lot of volunteers to count up all the ballots. They're doing each ballot by hand. They're doing a full hand recount. Human beings are doing a hand recount because they don't trust the machines. The machines, human beings don't trust the machines to count and tabulate correctly. So human beings are going to count and tabulate correctly. The same people that use calculators that are probably using calculators there to tabulate and other kind of machinery to tabulate things and keep track of it. Because you know, when millions of ballots, they're not stacking them up in piles. Like, here's a hundred thousand ballots stacked in a pile that was for Joe Biden. Here's another hundred thousand ballots stacked in a pile that was for Donald Trump. You know they're not doing that. They're relying on machines. But anyway, they don't trust certain machines, but the machines that they're using, they trust. You know, 
the logical fallacy of all of it is, well, hilarious. Anyway, well, what do you know? Cyber Ninjas, well, there was a media company there, and they were asking them, like, how are you going about doing this? Like, finding out whether there was fraud or not. And well, they have some very interesting methods to say the least. They're using UV light to check the ballots. Now, when asked what the UV light checking the paper and the ballots do, they couldn't answer the question. They couldn't explain. You think I'm making this up? You go and be the judge, go and watch the video. It's pure comedy in nature. Probably funnier than me. You see, I'm kind of a rare entity, so to say the least. Anyway, Cyber Ninjas, they're doing like the counting. So clowns are actually running the circus for once. Anyway, well, wouldn't you know, you need thousands and thousands of people to volunteer to do the county. And most of the people who are volunteering to do the county actually support the whole notion that the election was stolen. And so they're very partisan in nature. They're all Trump supporters that are doing this county. There's, there's very few people who didn't support the president participating in this, well, sham show. And well, wouldn't you know, one of the counters has come to light. One of the people that's actually counting the ballots, ensuring that the count was accurate, is a person who, well, committed insurrection a couple of months ago. Yeah, you heard me right. One of the dudes that's in there, in Arizona, in Maricopa County, hey, FBI, if you're listening, one of the dudes, yeah, he stormed the Capitol a couple of months back in January. The election was in November. The insurrections took place in January. You know, it's a joke. The whole country's a joke. And while you ask me, oh, bubble people's out. Why do you say that about your own country? Well, I say things that are true, whether they be comedy or not. They're still kind of relevant, and they're basically certainly true. You know, I wish Maricopa County the best in their recount. Let us know how it's going. Keep us abreast of it, you know? Tell us, like, the count and how you're keeping count. I want to make sure that you're not using any calculators or machines. That's cheating. Machines, well, machines are inaccurate. They lie. They they mis misrepresent. They can easily be switched. So don't use any machines. Calculate with your brains and your hands, you know? That's what humans have been really good at doing, calculating. That's why you invented a calculator, because, well, you're really good at keeping track of numbers.